Hey, what's up? This is SpiderFram1, back again with another Transformers video review. I know in my last video I said I would do another rant, but I really don't want to, because I just got eight new Transformers um, from this really nice guy off of Craigslist. He's really cool. Um, so I want to review the eight new ones I just got, and maybe I'll do the rant later, maybe I won't, I don't know. But I have eight new Transformers, five Decepticons, three Autobots. And of course, I always start with the Decepticons. And so I think I'm going to go from size for these guys. So I'll start with Barricade. And yes, these are all movie Transformers, the first movie. Um, Barricade is a Celine Mustang police car. Um, according to Wikipedia, this is the first... Um, Decepticon police car in all Transformers history. Um, very cool choice of... Um, very very nice choice of car for this particular one. I like the Mustang police car. Um, one of the things I always loved about this car was the, the sticker on the side that said to punish and enslave. I just always thought that was really cool. Um... There's not really much to say about the uh, anything else about the car mode other than it's got the police on the doors and on the back and the the car number on the top and on the bumper up over here. Um, other than that and the light bar, there's not much else to say about it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and transform him. What you want to do is start by pulling out the arms, which is the entire length of the car almost. Same on this side. Um, I will say that this, that turning him back into the police car is very, very tricky. You gotta get everything just right. And me with my little, like, not paying attention disorder, I think they call it ADD. <laughs> um, I always, I, I've d done this guy like four times, and I've always forgotten a step, and it takes me about half an hour just to put him back into the freaking car. Um, but he's still a good transformer. This is the the barricade. This one is um, the one that came with the the movie battle pack, the first encounter, where it came with the the three. Um, non-moving figures of Sam, Michaela, and Frenzy. And then um, it came with Barricade. And um, let me open his hands here. Funny thing about this Barricade is um, the mini Frenzy figure that comes with this, um, the one that pops out of the middle, I'll transform him in a second. Um, a lot, every copy of this one, um, from what I read, is that, and this happened to me too, so I'm no exception. Every barricade figure that came out of the the screen battles, the frenzy figure had a restrictor pl piece of plastic in it, so you couldn't pull him out without having to unscrew um, the bottom piece. So I did not know this, so I go to pull the frenzy figure out. And he won't budge. And we, me and my dad had to like freaking take the whole thing apart. We accidentally swapped arms, so we had to take him apart again just to put the arms back. Um, here's the frenzy figure. Um, set him down for a second. So yeah, all of you who have the screen battle barricade or are thinking of getting that one because it's the only one you can find. Um, you are going to have to take him apart to get Frenzy out if you want Frenzy. Because um, they put a little piece of plastic in the middle so you couldn't pull him out for whatever stupid reason. So, um, move the camera here. Um, so yeah, that's just a little warning. Um, the car is still very good. Um, or the robot. Uh, here's, I'm going to do the Frenzy figure real quick. Um, for this one, they they left him black because apparently since you came with the little 
non-moving frenzy figure, they figure you didn't need the, need this one. So maybe that's why they stuck it in there. But um, yeah, they did not paint him whatsoever. He's just black. Um, he has articulation at his bottom knee joints. Um, both arms can move 360 degrees and his head will fold all the way back. Um, but that's for transformation. Um, I hardly ever take him out. I just leave him in the car, um, which is doable. You can you can just leave him in there if you want. Um, see, no harm, no foul. So he's a really good to he's a really good toy. Um, mine, however, this arm loves to pop off on the ball joint. I think something greasy or oily got in there because the ball joint is kind of shiny on some parts. Um, I don't know what the deal is, but yeah, he's a little, just a little loose on this arm. Turn him all the way 360, it'll pop off. Um, and he still retains the stupid spring-loaded punch gimmick. Although this one actually springs out and forward. Um... From what I've seen of like the original barricade figures, the old ones just like drooped. This one, the springs are really nice, really tight. So if you want a barricade, get this one if you want the gimmick to work, if you even care about it. Um, but yeah, I like this one. I did not like the recon paint scheme. I thought that was really stupid. So I wanted to find one of these and Fortunately, I found a guy on Craigslist that had a bunch of Transformers, so this is one of the ones I got from him. Um, so, this has been Spider Prime 1. That's Barricade. I'll be back with another review pretty soon, but until then, I'm signing off.